Hey guys, um, this is, will be a review and- No, not a review. A drive of the Dodge Viper ACR. It came in the recent car pack for Forza Horizon 3. And this will show you how grippy it is and how it drives and all that. It's a really good car. Um. It handles like a beast and drives really nice. I'm just driving here in this kind of forest thing on this road that's very curvy and cool. Just doing this speed zone. Um, so, this is basically a race car for the road. Um, it has a giant wing and the wing ma at its at its at the actual car's top speed produces 1,200 pounds of downforce, which is crazy. And the real car's top speed is 177. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but the one in my game it has a is maxed out, and so it can go well over that. Um, we're now here in the rainforest, where, where there's a lot of curvy roads, and you can do, and this area is where the car really shines. I have no clue why there's a tall dirt wall on, by most of the roads, but the area is beautiful. And I like to drive here in the Viper because it's a nice nice grip test of it for it. Um so the car this car has a I'm pretty sure a 8.4 liter V10, which is crazy. And I think this car started production in the 90s and there's been Different, the, I've, I've seen three different designs for it, like, this is the newest one, the, the, the model shown here is, a is 2016. I find it very sad that the, that the Viper is going out of production very soon, like, that no production on the Vipers will start in 2017, which, I will not be happy about, because the Viper is one of my favorite cars. Tony. Um. I'm sorry for- sorry, but I was interrupted by my brother's weird music. And... Um. We're at the, by the beach, where there's lots of corners and where, an area where, you, where your car can gain a lot of speed, which is, it's a perfect area to test how your car drives. And, in this area you used to be able to do a glitch, which helped you get lots of XP and skill points. Um, here comes a speed trap. 184.96. Not bad. Um, now we're by the shipwreck area, where it's, where it's actually really beautiful. The number one reason why I like this game is, is because of all, well, any other number one reasons. <laughs> um, one reason is how nice this game looks, and it, this, Sometimes it looks better in real life, in a way, even though it kind of isn't possible. And there's over 450 cars. Yeah. Um, the map is very huge. Here I'm just start starting a another clip. Um, yeah. So, yeah, here it is. Um. I'll be continuing driving the Viper and showing how good it is at 
at it. At what it's made to do. The sound may be a little off. I have no clue why. Um, this will, this is my second video on, with an actual voice, on Boys Horizon 3, and not some weird app game. We'll be driving the Surfer's Paradise, and driving, about, I'm about to drive by a bar and find. Goodbye. Um, Look at all those rusty ships. Salad, fing salad fingers would love those. Um, if you even know what that is, anyway, you probably heard that. Um, we're about to get in the tunnel. What? Where the vi where the car sounds amazing. Yeah, it it sounds a little bit like a truck in real life. Because it has a truck engine that's modified or something. I don't know. Um, it just came from a from another Dodge Chrysler truck. The Dodge is owned by Chrysler. Um, we're about to get into Surfer's Paradise, where eventually I'm gonna race that bounty driver car. And there's too many cars. This is a great place for drifting, and, and all that. <laughs> Inside, the, the car has this cool red, red thing van on top of the steering wheel. And, which I think is supposed to tell you if the wheel is centered or not, which you probably don't need much because you can tell it's centered in for an obvious reason, like the way the wheel's designed. And we're gonna race this, this guy here. He's in an orange DTA panel. His engine sounds pretty similar because um, both these cars have V10s. And crashed into an R8, I'm sorry. Um, I'm destroying this guy. And the thing this car is is mostly good at is is its cornering. It's absolutely crazy. And it's really nice. That's why I like this thing. So I recommend getting the car pack this car is in. I'm pretty sure it's called Alpine Stars. I don't know how to pronounce it. That's probably the right way anyway. Um here I'm about I'm just gonna take just take a screenshot. It looks amazing. It's just driving down the beach. That's basically what it is. I am gonna Okay, this is this is this is another part of it where it's basically only forty ish seconds long. So, it, our video here is going to end soon, but we're about to get back at the, at the roundabout that, that we went straight through when going to Surfer's Paradise, I'm pre I think. Okay, we are going to leave off here, so, yeah. Bye-bye.